family and friends. We are still in Terlingua, Texas, and we are camping still at the Rancho Topanga Campground, which has been very lovely the past couple days. If you did not catch the first vlog that we did here uh, last week, go ahead and watch that one because there's some cool stuff we did there in that vlog that we will not be doing today. Today the plan is we are going to hike a short trail, but there is an off-road trail that Cody wants to drive on, so we're going to plan on doing that. This since the last time we were here. Yes, it is a very long off-road trail, so that's going to require us to let some air pressure down in the tires. But first things first, we've got coffee going. I am going to make some oatmeal for breakfast, and we're just ready to get this day started. <laughs> Well, we're done uh, dilly-dallying around this morning. Like we've said in our last vlog, we're not in a hurry at all. We're just chilling. Dude, it's like, I haven't even said howdy, everybody, howdy. <laughs> it's like 11.30 and it literally feels like... The days here just feel so long. Not that the sun comes up early or stays out any later. It's just the, island time. It really it is. It really is. The air is so crisp. Mm -hmm. Everything feels so relaxed. It's so quiet. Everything's it's the middle of the day. It's eleven thirty and listen. Besides the cooler. Yeah, that's going off. It's not really oh, good. Oh, something else we wanted to tell you that was kinda cool. So Guy, who owns the place, came by and talked to us yesterday. And I'm trying to find what it was. Oh, right here. In this whole entire area, there's all these fossils. Is that not cool? Not only are these there uh, seashell fossils, there's also shark teeth that he has found on that hill right there. Unfortunately, we haven't found any shark teeth, but this is all over the place. I just thought that was kind of yeah, cool. That's not hard to find there everywhere. No. But I guess we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna go to our favorite grocery store again, <laughs> Cottonwood General Store. Or is it general store or grocery? I think it's general store. I'm well, not sure. sure. But we just really enjoy going there. And plus we're gonna pick up a couple of items. We've come to our first stop. We noticed on the map, and I wanna show you real quick on the map where we are. So if we're in the park. We entered over here. We entered over here. We took this road all the way to the Panther Junction. And we took a left, and we're on this road right here. And we are at the Fossil discovery exhibit and we thought that was pretty cool so we're gonna stop and check it out and we'll take you along with us but it is very very windy here so there will be no sounds cue the music
super windy but that was it was really cool that's one of the coolest things i've seen in a while so all those fossils are replicas of what they've actually found in this area um all the real ones i think are in dallas at a museum but i thought it was super cool that we were talking to y'all this morning about the shells in shark teeth that uh guy was telling us about and Back we find camp. this exhibit <laughs> we yeah. not even on the docket nope and guess what we didn't even think that this was here last time that we came to big ben that's how large big ben is oh yeah and just to compare it in size, we were doing a little research. There is more land here in this national park than all of Rhode Island. This is a massive park with a lot to see. And we still probably won't get to see it all, but we're going to try to see won't. some more right now. We won't see it all on this trip. So on to Orr Road. Yeah, so the goal is we're finishing this road and we're going to be on Old Orr. So here's the exhibit. We'll take it up to uh, Dagger Flat Auto Trail, but we're going to turn here on Old Orr Road, and that is the off-road trail. There's some campsites here, so we're going to check those out as well on the way. It's not, I will say, you don't really need a four-wheel drive for it. Unless it's raining. Yeah, unless it's raining, but it is extremely bumpy. Yeah, it's very bumpy. And the road is so short that we don't want to lower our air pressure because it takes us 30 minutes to re-up our air pressure. So, by the way, if anybody does a good air compressor, please let us know if it can be quicker than the one that we got we need 10 a years one. ago from yeah. Harbor Freight. I would love to know of a fast air compressor that y'all recommend put in the comments below. So this is another camping spot. However, this is also the road that we're supposed to take to get to the trailhead. There's a separate parking area from the camping spot. That's the camping spot. However, this is the trailhead we're coming up. Yeah. Hey, we're here finally. This is the name of the trail. There's no other information here, um, but from what it said, it was 1.3 miles. It's an out and back. I think it was 1.3 there. So let's hit it.
So we're coming up to something up here. I don't know if y'all can see, but it looks like a, a hole in the ground. So I'm Ain't anxious to better. see, huh? Ain't nothing better than a hole in the ground. I'm anxious to see if there's water in it. I hear, I think I hear running water. Look at that rock I hear hole. bees. Look at this rock hole. Oh, that's crazy. Man. That's like... That's weird. That is freaking awesome. Let's see what's in this hole up here. Yeah, it's kind of clear. It is, isn't it? Interesting. Here, will you take that? I'm just gonna walk up here. Oh, that's cool. oh wow, there is water in it. Looks deep. Ah, I can see the bottom. Can you imagine when it rains? Oh, I bet that's wicked. Water just all through here. That's crazy. Guys, check this out. That's insane. This thing goes all the way through to the top. This right here. Wow. Pretty cool stuff. Guys, have you ever seen Easter Island? You know those Easter Island heads? That's what this all kind of looks like at first glance. And there's more quartz right there. Wow. This is so cool. I am so blown away yeah, at cool. how different every inch of this park feels. Yeah, like that road we took. It looks nothing like the other road we took. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't. Man, that one road we took looked nothing like the other road we took, man. Big big ranch, big bend ranch, state park. I think this is the end of the road. <laughs> oh no, we can keep going. Where? 
I don't know. I felt pretty dangerous. Yeah. I mean, it's all very, very slick rock. I am going to try to push. It's not the end. But I want to try to push onward. So this is the end. I'm not going to force Kelly to go any further because she's not breaking it. You said you couldn't even do it. Kelly's not feeling it. It's all my fault. Mm -hmm. Anyways. This place is gorgeous. It's well worth the hike, and we've been I mean, it's alone. a short hike is well worth the drive. drive. Yeah, because <laughs> what I came to see was what you saw at the beginning—the red wavy rock. That's what I came to see. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I didn't know what I was coming to see. I was just along for the ride, <laughs> man. However, we are fixing to leave and head back to camp because we might have about a two-hour drive with how slow we have to drive on the dirt road. But we will see you there. Good evening, everybody. We've got cleaned up. We have our canopy set up for light. And it just feels so special here right now because we are the only people in this, I don't know the whole campground, but this vicinity of the campground. And it feels very special. It is a magical time it's to be very ma It's very magical. Oh, by the way, guys, that was downright one of the coolest trails I have ever hiked in my life that road was very long and bumpy <laughs> and rough and i know i'm supposed to lower my air pressure so remember air compressor we need it a good one that yeah. does it quick not 30 minutes an hour put it in the link i mean in the comments if you know of a good air compressor that airs up quickly that's why we don't like doing that it takes probably 40 minutes and it took us probably an hour to get back here from where we were if not longer then we showered hence is why it's dark already but we are starving and we're going to make my delicious black bean enchiladas and Mexican rice and I cannot wait. So hungry. So I'm going to get it going. So if you're at home, you can definitely microwave your tortillas. I like to use corn. You can use flour. Um, but I am not at home. I do not have a microwave. So I'm just going to fry them. Not enough that they're crispy, just enough to kind of get them moist. I'm about to make my filling for the enchiladas. So we've got some sour cream, black beans, a small can of diced green chili. Mix this all together real quick. After I have that all mixed up, I'm gonna add in some cheese. You can use your whatever Mexican cheese you like. This is Machego and we really love that cheese. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in there. Saving the rest to garnish on top of the enchiladas right before I bake them. I'm also gonna add some pepper. Salt. I'm gonna stop my rice. I have half an onion and I'm just gonna dice that up. So I'm gonna add some oil to my pan. Turn the burner on. My oil is heated up. I'm gonna put my rice in there and my onion I just chopped up. I'm just gonna stir my rice and onion around until the onion is tender and the rice is browned. While that's cooking, I'm gonna add some spices. Of course, I've got some salt, pepper, cumin. Now that this is softened up, I'm gonna add some water some tomato sauce and then we're going to want to bring that to a boil coming to a boil I'm also going to add in some vegetable bouillon while that is boiling I have a serrano chili pepper that I'm going to chop up I have a uh, red enchilada sauce I'm just going to cover the bottom of this pan so I have my filling that I made already I'm just going to put a little bit not much in there and roll them up and then place them in my pan here and I'm gonna do all my tortillas until I have filled it up now I've got all my tortillas and I'm gonna go ahead and cover them with my red enchilada sauce by the way we would like to thank Alexandria Payne for getting us this awesome wall to go onto our canopy. Thank you so much. 
so much. We have just put it up. This is the first time using it. This is very nice. The wind was starting to blow in just a little bit, blowing Kelly's hair around. That's why she's wearing her cool hat. My rice has absorbed a little bit of liquid. I have my Serrano chili pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there with it. And I can put the lid back on. First, I'm gonna give it a little stir. I can put the lid back on and let it continue to cook. My oven is heated up, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop my enchiladas in there. And they've gotta go for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna get my timer going. I've never seen anything so pretty good. Mm. Well, besides you. This is gonna taste good. Good morning, everybody. It is a, another beautiful day here. Love it here. Sunshine every day. It's guaranteed. <laughs> so, this morning, I'm going to make breakfast burritos. We are starving. And um, we're do mountain biking today, right? That's what you told me you wanted to do. I well, what do you want to do? Whatever you want to do. Well, we might as well take advantage of the trails because we had so much fun the other day. I have not mountain biked in probably six months, I'm gonna say. It might have been before that, but it's been a while. So if I'm enjoying it, I say let's just do it. And because who knows, it could be a while before I get to mountain bike again. Or that I want to, or that I'm, I'm near a trail that I'm like, you know, that sounds like a good time and not stressful. So anyway, do breakfast first and then we'll see where the day takes us. We have finished our morning routine and we are fixing to go down to the airport loop and hit mountain another bike mountain bike trail and hit another loop. However, I wanted to tell y'all something that many of you have been asking lately. When we leave camp, what do we leave at camp? Well, anything electronics or our cooker, we put back in the vehicle. So we'll put all these solar panels back in the vehicle. We've got our jackery and our cooler. We'll put the oven back in it, but everything else you see, table, our dishes and everything in the tent we actually just leave here and we've never had an issue with anybody bothering our stuff or taking anything anything of uh, great value we take but uh, being at a campground like this um, not primitive camping you really don't have to worry about anything because the owners are here they cruise through here and check things out and honestly in Terlingua you don't have to worry about any of that in period I am enjoying this day and I'm ready to go mountain bike are you ready to go mountain bike so let's do our long, extremely, extremely long two mile drive to. I don't know if we can make it, babe. <laughs> okay, so we're back and we've decided we're gonna do loop four, which is the one that we we're talking about that's combined is 14 miles. We're going balls in the wall today. But it's only um, 600 and something feet of elevation. 685 feet, the full elevation gain through the whole entire ride. Yeah. I think you can do this. Yeah, it's hardcore. just really, really windy, and that just holds me back when we're going towards the wind. Man, just keep, so, just keep pedaling. I know. 
So I think we're, that's what we're going to try to do today. Yeah. All right, well, let's get the bags out. We have already done the first part of loop three that we showed y'all on the last vlog, but now we're going to do loop four. And I don't even know how many miles we got in, but we blew through it because Kelly's hardcore. <laughs> it was fun. All right. So this is where we split off. After getting back, we chilled, we stretched, because that 14 miles, the trail wasn't hard. It was the sun and the wind was Actually, relentless. If you take if you do want to do that trail and you go, it would be clockwise, correct? Yeah, clockwise. If you go clockwise, once you get to that old Jeep trail, I would just turn around. <laughs> yeah, I mean that part was so much honestly, fun. Honestly, I mean it it was rough. Because then after that, it was mostly... It, Direct sunlight. And then mostly Jeep well, trail. sunlight on your face and then uh, wind. And there was a cool... There was a few cool was spots okay. that went up into the mountain. And uh, it was really tech, a lot of loose rock. I enjoyed it. But for beginners, I wouldn't suggest it for, for beginners. But mm -hmm. all in all, I, I enjoyed it. And I feel very uh, tired now. But we're fishing to... We're going to shower and then we're going to go eat somewhere for dinner. a delicious smell it was french dip i just got a burger cheeseburger it's really good this trip was amazing and we're sad that it's ending however if you like this vlog make sure you give us a thumbs up hit the notification bell and subscribe and we will catch you on the other